Hi, so in this video, we'll, we will be using a software to create a decision tree and then use the software to do our evaluation. The software that we'll be using is the open source free software, uh, which is available on the web. Uh, it's called Silver Decisions. So this is what it looks like when you first start it. So you click on run and it loads up. And let's start creating the example that we did earlier by hand. So, so we have a decision note. So you start with a decision note which was whether to buy or repair a machine. Then depending on that decision, you had another decision note. The, other, the next decision note was to decide whether to get a local or imported machine and uh, then there's a chance note the chance note is uh, if you get a local machine then the, there are two possible outcomes so this is for a local machine and if you get a imported machine so that was the other option um, and then if you got a local machine there were two possibilities so let's add those two possibilities and possibility one was that you can restore full function and possibility two was that you only get partial function if you had if you restored the machine fully then you have a pay of 1 million and the probability of that happening was 70 percent if it was partially restored then the payoff would be 500,000 and the probability of that was 30 percent for the imported machine uh, the Payoff was 1 million minus the cost of the machine, which is 400,000. That's done. And then we now record the cost of the local machine, which is 200,000. So that completes one side. The other option was if you didn't want to buy, then you could say that you get a um, repair job and in case you do a repair then there were two possible so there's a chance note with two possible outcomes so, so one outcome was that the repairs are to store the machine fully and the other one was to partially restore the machine if the machine was fully restored, then the payoff was 1 million and the chance of achieving that was 20%. If it was not fully restored, then the payoff was 200,000 and the chance of that was 80%. Finally, we put in the cost of the local machine, which was 100,000. There you go. Okay, so our tree is now set up and we start with a maxi max uh, criteria. So in the maxi max criteria, you have all these uh, terminal nodes and we want to pick up uh, for E. Uh, for each chance, we could pick up the um, pick up the terminal node which has the highest value. So here, the highest value is a million, and if you subtract the cost of the machine, you get a net payoff of eight hundred thousand. Similarly, you get to calculate the net payoff here, and that's three hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand here. Here, the net payoff would be one million minus one hundred thousand. 
So you notice if I do a maxi max, it selects uh, this part, which means that you should go for a repair. If I want to do a maxi min, then what you're going to do is you have again you calculated all the payoffs. So it's 1 million here minus 200,000. So that's 800,000 so for each terminal node you calculate the payoff. And you have all these payoffs. And in the maxi min criteria, what you want to do is you want to pick up the. We want to pick up. Uh, so we compare the minimums so here the minimum for this branch the minimum would be 300,000 uh, for this branch it's 600,000 for this branch is 100,000 so the maximum out of these is 600,000 so our decision would be to buy an imported machine now if we wanted to do expected monetary value then what we would do is to multiply the probabilities with the um, payoffs and then uh, so that this would be uh, this would give us um, um, expected monetary value of 850,000 for a local machine, 600,000 for the imported machine and 360,000 for the uh, repairs. So the best uh, option is uh, the local machine which gives us a net payoff of 650,000 that's how you do it it's, uh, it's very straightforward so you build a tree and then you can basically choose whatever method that you want to use to be good.